Hello, this is Heather Joshi, and I'll give a video demonstration on making an abstract photo drawing. So, um, the first thing you need to do is get a photograph. Um, this right here is has captured a 160-pound Great Dane at the dog park. He was amazing. Um, so here's the abstract drawing that I made that is based on that photo. So you see the fence pretty much looks the same. It's rectangles. It has a grid-like pattern where there's the wire mesh. Um, some of the other things, such as the tree, you see the trees to the right-hand side of the drawing. They're not connected to the ground, so that's a distortion which abstracts the photograph. Um, there were some bushes behind the fence. Um, kind of took some artistic license, put them in front of the wire mesh, and made them into these like circles with a radial design inside them. So I flattened these three-dimensional bushes, uh, made them to two-dimensional elements in this drawing. Um, and then the dog itself, it doesn't really have the muscles or the articulation. It's more of the kind of like just this black blob with three appendages growing off of it. So the difference between abstract work and non-objective work is so, so non-objective work, you just make line, shape, you play with media on a um, flat surface. Um, it doesn't really point to anything outside in the real world, whereas abstract art can be rooted in things that we experience and perceive, like the sky or animals or objects, but it's either distorted, so maybe the colors are changed, or perhaps it's simplified, um, so everything's just kind of pared down to the most basic shapes, and um, that's what can make it work abstract. We'll review our materials. So here is that eight and a half by 11 sheet of copy paper. You can also use the 11 inch by 14 inch uh, mixed media paper. Um, uh, make sure you have a collection of markers, um, felt tip pens, have them all be black. Um, and then there's, um, you can make your like homemade straight edge or it works like a ruler, you make a straight line, just kind of use it as a guide. We'll check out some techniques that you can use. So there's hatching, and that's where you make parallel lines. There's crotch hatching, so that's where lines intersect one another. Then you have sippling, where you put a bunch of dots in an area. And then there's scumbling, which is a fancy kind of scribble in which you can fill an area with a texture or a value. So the denser your marks are, the closer they are together, the darker they seem. And this works for scumbling, stippling, and cross hatching. You can also create um, various values with um, patterns. So depending on how close the elements of the pattern are to one another, it may seem darker when they're further apart. They read as a gray or a lighter value. So use these various techniques as you're filling in the um, simple shapes in your abstract photo drawing. Um, begin dry by drawing the whole composition very lightly. You don't want to just draw one shape and make it really detailed. Be sure to just block everything in, see how everything kind of relates to one another. Once you do that, you can start filling in the details. I started with the fence because I thought it was a kind of like a nice framing device. Um, it also helps to work with things in the background. And then you move into the fore middle ground and foreground because if your lines intersect, that just kind of it makes for like a kind of a cleaner image that makes more sense like spatially in quotations because this is an abstraction it doesn't really have to create a convincing space so um yeah starting to fill in the dog shape and yeah just made this little close-up shot so you could see even though that black area is black on black i was really kind of thinking about the direction of the mark making those little kind of ticks look like the fur following the quote-unquote dog's body um, yeah, filling in more pattern with the trees, this kind of oval shape over the, the dog's back. Starting to fill a little bit of the ground in, so it doesn't seem like he's standing on a white void. And, um, yeah, that was the entire image. Yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing what you do with your photographs and how you abstract them. Um, so, yeah, that we're at the termination of this exercise and demo. And I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye.